welcome to another episode of Marketing and Mocktails Live with Manal. I have the amazing, the brilliant Linda Miles with us. Hello, Linda. Hi there. How are you, Manal? I am doing great. Thank Good. you. And we have Nancy Crossan. Hey, Nancy. Hello, Manal. Good evening to you. Good evening. Hi. And we are missing. Oh, hey, Dorothy. Thank you so much for joining us. And if we are, you know, we are missing Candace right now. But uh, she's trying to get on as we speak. We have some some issues, but like I said, hey, maybe the later time will work better for us. Who knows? Who knows how this all works out? So if you are in here and if you are watching right now, I want you to make sure that you tell us, like, hi, Dorothy. Hi, Shannon. Oh, they're telling we love you, Linda. Oh, thank you so much for saying that. <laughs> and, and thank you for joining us this late. But here's a cool thing. To make this episode even more fun and exciting towards the late of the night, I want you guys to start with telling us something that's amazing in your life. Whether it's coming home to a beautiful family or you're really excited for Thanksgiving and you just have a new recipe coming out or your boss loves you or you are the boss and you love your life, whatever it is, <laughs> what are you thankful for? And you know what? Everybody knows Linda Miles. Everybody knows Nancy Crossan. So why don't I allow them to give us a couple of minutes and tell us a little bit about just their journey. Can you, I know, I know that asking you guys to tell me a little bit about your journey is like a- <laughs> Might take an hour. <laughs> it might take an hour, but how about, how about we do it uh, quickly? Linda, why don't you go first? Okay. My journey has been the last 58 years in dentistry. I've retired uh, about six times and I have finally, finally retired from going to dental meetings and I've now replaced it with going to the gym and yoga, which I'm enjoying and having a great time. But I love dentistry. I love the people in dentistry. I loved speaking, consulting. I loved uh, uh, starting the speaking consulting network and seeing it just blossom and flourish year after year. And I just really, really will miss all of my dental clients. I'll miss all my dental friends, but it's time for a new chapter. And that is retirement to Florida means forever vacation. So that's my story. Wow. And you know, we are really going to miss seeing you around, but you deserve it. You deserve I'll retirement. I'll be on Facebook. <laughs> I'll see you on Facebook. Awesome. What if, Nancy, tell us a little bit about you. Yeah, well, Linda, I'm going to see you in Florida next week, so I'll be oh, on vacation. Oh, that's right. You. <laughs> I've been in the field over 40 years, and I started as a, an office manager, and I did that for many, many years for elite dental practices, and I went uh, on my own with my own private clients in 2006 while I was an in-house consultant for a large elite dental practice. I love dentistry. I love this field. I love the fact that I can meet people like you and Linda and collaborate with you. It's very exciting. And I'm sort of semi-retired too, except for I've got a very big project going on that Linda is the project developer. And that's what we're, that's what we're up to. So don't believe Linda when she says that she's retired. Well, as long as I don't have to travel, I'll, I I can do a few projects, Nancy and Manal. And oh. Candace, Candace, um, who is trying to get on Candace Martin from California. She has been a tremendous um, champion, Manal, for um, the uh, project that Nancy and I've worked on for, Nancy's worked on it for years. I've worked on it for about a year and a half. So we're just really excited about it and excited that you're one of the people, the key opinion leaders that we've shown it to and the response has been overwhelming. And, um, so we're moving, moving full steam ahead, and it will be rolling out the first of this year in a big way. Yes. yes. Well, so, you know, I kind of coming in and oh, everybody coming in. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Robert. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Heather. Hey, guys, you already have <laughs> right. 15 viewers here. If you are one of the 15 viewers, please tell us who you are. <laughs> like I said, I want to make sure that you're watching us it's a little late in the night, but maybe this is the best time to have a really amazing conversation you know have you, have you ever had one of those conversations with good friends where everything just makes sense and you get yes. the best wisdom i had a conversation like that with linda miles a couple of weekends ago when uh linda and i were chatting and by the time i was done i couldn't sleep that night <laughs> i have that problem too <laughs> so i probably won't sleep much tonight because uh... I think we have the same personality, identical, Manon. But it was just like your mind just starts growing with all these ideas, right? And I think that collaboration is one of the best things. 
what I have come across in my journey and you know doing this for a decade and you guys have such an experience over me but is that there is a big issue with leadership uh. and and there are leaders and there are followers and so many times i feel that you know it's a difference between when you have a parent who's trying to be a friend and they don't parent and i'm a true believer that a parent is a parent you know, I am who I am because of my wonderful parents and they have kept me in line and they have parent, they have been parents to me, you know, and I have my set of friends who are my friends and I do that the same thing. And I feel there is a, something of a translation there with a leader and uh, somebody who is not a leader, but is trying to get so much empathy and love from their team members that there is a, not, there's not enough follow through, follow through. There's not enough respect. There is not mm -hmm. enough dignity involved. Do you both agree to that? Have you seen Absolutely. something similar? What a, what a great analogy that your parent can't be your best friend. They are there to guide you, to keep you from being injured and keep you from being in trouble and to give you the values that make you a strong adult. And the same thing holds true with a great leader. And Nancy has some wonderful parts on leadership in the DIY. And uh, Nancy, what are some of, what were some of your takes on it? Because Manal just hit on a powerful an analogy well, because a so lot of dentists are not strong leaders and their team members want a strong leader. Well, I think, uh, I think what Manal is talking about is so correct. And I believe it so much Manal because it's very difficult to be the leader, the boss, the person who signs your paycheck, and be a friend. Yes. We're not on equal. How many hats can you wear? Part, part right? Right. How many hats can you wear? You are one person. Well, the, de the dentist, you know, the dentist wants to be liked, and that's all right. It's you want to be liked, you want to be fair, you want to treat everybody equally if possible, like a parent. And you know what? In a way, you are in the parent role, but people forget there needs to be some healthy boundaries, some expectations. And I think that leadership happens to so many dentists in particular by default because they went to dental school. Mm. They went to dental school and they want to be clinicians. That's what they want. Well, what, one of the favorite things I heard from uh, one of the greatest leaders of all time was Norman Schwarzkopf. Wow. I heard him lecture, and he said, leaders live in a glass house. In other mm. words, everybody's watching every move you make, so you have to be the person you want your team to be. Yeah. He also yeah. said that you don't have to be liked or loved as the leader, you do have to be respected. Yes. And I think that respect is something we earn and you can't receive it unless you're handing it out. Yes. Well it's, said. It's well absolutely said. true. Respect is earned. And so many of us, I think, in the industry now are trying to get that or trying to achieve that. But, you know, the reason I was saying that, that it is so hard with leadership it's because of one thing simply, and that is that I feel that a lot of dentists or healthcare professionals who are in school, so I'm a hygienist, right? And I grew up in a business family, so it was easier for me, per se, to get on with business because I grew up with that. I had right. a support system, I had the knowledge, but my husband is a physician, right? And he has he's a very intelligent, kind man, and he's very smart, and he, he has those same kind of things, but he's also somebody who reads the research papers. And he he's a student, right? He continuously agrees a forever with me. forever student. Yeah. A forever student. And what I really liked about your program, so everybody who's listening, uh, Nancy um, had came out with this program, which is called Do-It-Yourself Consulting. And here's why I really like it. I really like it that because so many of us who are healthcare professionals, we are students. We love to learn, and you know what else we like? We like information available to us on our, on, on, on our hand tips, because imagine if we have to go and have a question and we don't get the answer to it. First of all, we all are stress balls, and we want to get that answer right away. <laughs> and secondly, we want information that's available, that is saved, that is easily accessible, and that has years of experience in it. 
So you don't have to worry about if the decision that you are going to make is the right one or the wrong one. What do I do here? How do I become a better leader? You know, how do I train my team? How do I get internal marketing on? How do I get these things happening? What is the system? What right. system should I have? Right. And this is me speaking directly to all my millennial dentists out there. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's like your Safari and your Siri, like, hi, can you tell me X, Y, and Z? Instead, you just go onto a document, put a search word, and it shows up. You know, Manal, when you did that, when you spoke however many months ago, I honestly never thought of it that way. Although I am on Google, I research that as the love of my life. I love <laughs> Nancy is Miss Google. And, and Absolutely. Anything I want to know, I call her, and she's already Googled it 10 times. I don't have to. But what Manal did, yeah. she went into the document. You know, she went into our digital document, which is, um, I don't know, 42, 45,000 words. She went in the document and searched for something. I've never done that in my own document. Manal, <laughs> you're a genius. So she said, this is the Google of dental consulting. And I loved that. And it, and is. it is, because it is, you know, how many times I wish that I had a library of information like that? Yeah, I never it's, thought of that. It's not even library of information, library of credible information. There's a difference. I can Google things all I want and I'll get people's opinions. I don't want opinions. No, we don't. I want credible information that could be implemented the right way. Yep. And I was so blown away by it. That's why I told you that you had to turn this into even a podcast because I can see us all listening to it on way to work and it's cost us less than a Starbucks coffee. I love that. And you know, <laughs> because you mentioned that we made nine audio clips. So we are that. We've made the clip, we have audio clips about implementation and the next thing we're gonna do when we're together next week is we're going to have videos on uh, two sections. There's eight sections on two sections. I'm gonna do four videos to help people to implement it. Oh, that's awesome. And I just wanna take a moment here again. We have Candace, Nicole, Kathy, uh, lots of Kathys, multiple Kathys with different last names. Hi, Kathy North, <laughs> Kathy, all, all the other Kathys. Hello, hey, Sean. Kathy Hi. Nicholas. Hi. Sean. Yeah. Hi, Sean. Yeah. Hey, Sean. And Hi, I see you have quite a few people watching. Again, if you haven't told us, told us hello, make sure you do so. And, you know, so let's go back into it and let's uh, let's answer some questions. So if you guys have questions coming up, make sure you post them because you got us. You have, you have our time right now, so we're going to answer those questions for you. But let's go into this in a, in a reverse. <laughs> let's, in reverse <laughs> let's, let's reverse engineer this a little bit, right? Yeah. Yes. Um, so let's say that I am a I am a dentist, all right, and I have been practicing for five years or six years, and I have somewhat of a system in place. I have gone through the initial phases. I'm in that, you know, ready to grow and get to the next level because I've been five years in my business and I want to do that. Do you think that somebody like that could benefit from a Google of dentistry or Google of all <laughs> information in the world? I think you're answering your own question, but of course, of course yes. Uh, uh, and the thing is that five years, here's how they got what they got usually. They pick up bits and pieces. They listen to podcasts. Um, they go to seminars, uh, take webinars, uh, maybe read something and say, oh, this looks good. I want to do that. And I've heard people say that when they go to, to listen to Linda speak, that they take they take one or two suggestions and they bring it back to the office. But this isn't one or two or bits and pieces. This is the whole program from soup to nuts, except for when a live consultant goes into a practice and does the analytics and does the one-on-one -on -one interviews. But other than that, this is a program from soup to nuts, from leadership to, to team calibration, to cash flow, to systems and protocols in every department, to checklist, tracking, accountability. And so it's very, very thorough and uh, it's very exciting. And mm -hmm. it's very exciting that I have been doing this for years, but once Linda came on board, then we took it to another level and it wouldn't have happened without Linda Miles. Well, thank you. And also, Manal, the thing I love most about it um, was the fact that Nancy has hit on something we've all been trying to do. I've been doing it, trying to do it for 50 years, and some of the consultants have been doing it for 30. 
But um, we wonder why when we consult a practice and we work hard and we have a fabulous team, a fabulous dentist, and they work at it, but we go back a year later and some of the systems are breaking down. And a lot of people think, well, we had a change in staff or a team member left and we had to train somebody. So changes in team members might make the systems fail. But Nancy has hit on something very powerful in the fact that her first session, her first section of the DIY is discovery. And the dentist owner must sit down with him or herself and a glass of wine or a bottle, depending on how fast they can do the project. But truly, they must sit down and write their philosophy, their mission, their goals. If they don't know where they're going, how can they lead the team? So the first part is discovery one. And they not only have to go through all of the things we've all been teaching or telling them to do, she shows them step by step and examples of everything where most of us just say you need to do this, but they haven't a clue how. And so this is the how to's. And then section two is the discovery two. And that is where the leader, the boss, the dentist brings the team on board and if they do not buy into that philosophy, that mission, those goals, and if they don't believe in their doctor, his or her dentistry, and the fees in this practice, guess what? The patients pick up on it. So you can't do this alone. Uh, yeah. The team, uh, in my opinion, has yeah. always either made or broken the practice. You know, I see, a, I see a quote recently. I, it came out at a, I was presenting, I was speaking somewhere and it just came out when I was presenting and I, you know, I was thinking of something and I said that it is empowering to know your strengths, but it is enlightening to know your weaknesses. Oh, wow. And only, and only when you know your weaknesses are you able to truly grow. That's right. And right. how do you find them out, Manal? You don't walk around saying, what are my weaknesses? <laughs> no. <laughs> you have no. to up your coach. You know, and, but that's what I think, that the discovery phase is such an integral part of not only you as a business or as a dentist, but you as a person. Absolutely. You know? And, yeah. and Nancy's is so complete, Manal. She even has them write their own obituary, and that's powerful. What that. do you want your family, your patients, your dental team, and your community to know about you and say about you when you're no longer with us? So powerful. I did that back in the 80s uh, in a live uh, seminar with, uh, oh, with Stephen. Wow. With Stephen Covey, Seven Habits of, I have some seven, um, every time I talk about a book, I'll bring it up, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Yes, I read it. It's one of the powerful exercises we did that I never forgot. It really helps prioritize uh, prioritize your life, your goals, what you want. And so this is a process. So discovery one and discovery two are the setup to help set you up. It's your roadmap, your roadmap to where you want to go. And then second, you can't get there without your team. You got to bring them on board and discovery too. It's very, it's very exciting. And, and you know, I think people don't realize this, but like, just think about it. If you as a business owner cannot connect with your team, how do you expect your team to connect with your patients? Or how do you yourself expect to connect to your patients if you can't even connect with your team members? And if you don't even bring them on board to your success, because if you can't handle that, you know, you're going to be doing everything and anything because of micromanagement and you're not going to become the leader you're meant to be Absolutely. because you are your own roadblock, right? And that's when the systems break down, mm -hmm. when they're not on board completely. You know, you have to you have to really be a strong leader. And I think that topic alone could be um, delved into for hours on end and we wouldn't even scratch the surface. We wouldn't. But, you know, one thing that I look at when I look at uh, a dental practices websites, and it's almost always true when I meet the dentist, too. I look to see, I go to the About Us page, because that's the first page that everyone goes to, other than they land on home. Right. I want to see pictures of the team. And when the dentists do not have pictures of their team, and their team has a little bio, people want to know where they're going, and they want to feel good. And they want to know they're real people. When they, they have real family members, just yep. like the patient, sure. 
So when the team is not on the website, that's a red flag to me. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, that is a red flag to me too. But here's, you know, uh, here's the other thing too, right? We are often forget that we are dealing, we are humans dealing with humans. Mm-hmm. And we are dealing with people who have a past, a present, a history. And we always, in a way, need to step back. And this is what I do in my marketing strategies. I always step back and I say, how am I viewing this as a potential patient? Or how am I viewing this as a patient? Because I am a human. And I'm dealing with a human. And I'm attracting humans. But uh, we forget that. We forget to ask that. And we get into this sales mode. And we get into this promotion mode and I should boost about how awesome I am and <laughs> everybody should love me, you know, and we get into this boosting mode instead of stepping back and being approachable and right. understand that, you know, the same thing, like you mentioned, having your team members profiles there because they are going to be seeing people yes. and people want to build. We are in a relationship business, oh, we are. right? We see patients Absolutely. every six months. If you're a specialist, you see patients every six weeks. Yep. And they have to trust you. They have to believe in what you're saying. And they need to understand that you are doing everything you can that is in the best interest for your patients. And that's how you close a treatment. You don't close a treatment by writing down everything you're going to be doing because they don't understand. That's gibberish to them. That's, <laughs> that's a different that's Greek. <laughs> that's Greek. And, you know, they want to know that you have the best intention at heart. Mm-hmm. And I also believe, Manal, that until there is a benefit to the buyer, awesome. which is the patient, there will be no case acceptance. So when they are talking gibberish, as you called it, yeah. um, the patient, it's just they, their eyes go glossed over. They actually need to know, OK, if I have a full coverage crown, what's my short term and long term benefit? of investing in that. And the team members can be so, so um, helpful in explaining the dental education part because the dentist is the only one doing the clinical care, Mm. the restorative. So the team members need to really hone in on what they say, their body language in and uh, at the front desk, checking in, checking out and chair side. And, and who is the person most trusted in the dental office? The dental assistant. Mm-hmm. First. Second are the hygienists. Then the front desk because they feel front desk is selling them something. Or maybe they might be giving them. Making their money. Yeah. <laughs> Making sure they show up for their appointment or whatever. But that is uh, so, the, you know, getting to know your people and seeing them and connecting with them and trusting them is everything. Well, Absolutely. another thing that I am I'm thinking here now is, um, you know, going back and seeing a little bit of your program and the topic of conversation we have today. It's, it's almost a marriage. It's a marriage of systems because you need systems. If you don't have a, a pathway, if you don't have a protocol, if you don't know that, you know, like I, I sometimes go in and I create new patient journeys and a. I break down a campaign and I just scribble and I write down and I put arrows down and I create a a whole journey about it, a system. If this Mm -hmm. happens, what's the next step? You need systems because otherwise you're hoping that whatever you do, it may or may not work, right? So you need a system, but then you need to kind of go ahead and have a marriage with understanding that power and that leadership, right? And you have to connect that dot. And that's why those systems go away, Linda. You say maybe a year later, you might go back or I will, I find myself saying to dentists, um, I'll make a suggestion. And they say, you know, we used to do that. And I don't Mm -hmm. know what happened. They don't know what happened. They don't know when the breakdown started, but it's inevitable. But they're the leader. And if they can't be the leader, because so often dentists become leaders by default. So if they, right. if they feel they can't be the leader, then this is my suggestion. See this mm-hmm. right here? Rocket fuel. Okay. This is, I have some very good leadership books that I'm going to hold up. But this rocket fuel is about the perfect combination for a successful business. And it's the visionary and the integrator. We call it and know it as the implementation person. And when you have that, and that's what I've always been, you have to know who you are. And that's what I've always been all these years when I worked inside a dental office, 
I was the integrator. The dentist was the visionary. Doesn't mean it, that the dentist can't be the integrator, but most likely you need somebody. You need your team, but you need a right arm who can be your eyes, your ears, and your voice and make your vision come to life. Well, it's the right. same thing as working on and in the business. Absolutely. And right. you need the, somebody working on the business. You need somebody yes. working in the business, right? Mm -hmm. I, I joke about this all the time because I have five team members and none of my team members work with my clients. They don't do any work for my clients. They don't know my clients. But I have those five team members just so that my business, mm -hmm. <laughs> my business, right. my package, you know, I can do what I do. They're supporting um, you. They're supporting me. So while I'm working on the business and actually working with the clients, they are working in the business for me. Yeah. You know, like, for example, they my team reached out to you to set this up. Like, that wasn't me. That's something that's taken care of. I just have to focus on showing up and, you know, having a wonderful conversation with my guests. So the on and the in is so important. But sometimes it's about the details. So I saw something in your, um, you know, in your do-it-yourself uh, consulting program, the DIY consulting where you were so specific that didn't you even have the dental assistance responsibilities? Like you had specific every, every details. Detail, every detail. The beauty about this is that it is meant and written to be customized. But when a dentist reads this and they believe in the philosophy, because we bring 40, 50 years of wisdom and experience into this program, when the dentist believes the philosophy, then they can go ahead and say, to their hygiene team, to the assistants. Go ahead, work on this, customize it, let's make it our own. And and it's every detail from from entry to exit, every detail. So it's been it's it's a very thorough program. We wrote it with broad strokes, but it's been very thorough, uh, and it's very thorough because we didn't know what someone in Montana would be using as far as software. We didn't know what communication system they'd be using. And so we made sure not to mention any companies, although we love certain companies, but we didn't mention that because we did not want to be beholden to anyone because we're offering this at a fabulous price. And we also are making sure that everyone knows this is customizable so that it resonates for the dental, their the dentist, their philosophy, and their dental practice. And, and just to say this so I don't forget before I finish here that Linda and I and Candace and Stacy, who has been working with us, we believe the best case scenario is live coaching. But mm -hmm. the reason we did this, the mission here was to bridge the gap. Okay, for anyone who wanted to improve and for some reason they were not going to hire a consultant coach just yet. So this is a program that they can use that would bridge the gap. They they can get to their own next level using this they can do it in their own time the way they want they can customize it to match their philosophy and their dental practice and they can save the expense the costly expense of travel of they do have to allow a certain amount of time to work this program but they it's 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 so it's such a, a, a what's the word i'm looking for linda i'm trying to say we can save the what am I looking for, Lynn? Because I well, one of the things that you made me think about, Nancy, is that once the dentist invests in the DIY, and when they see the extent, and when I say extent, it's the most thorough thing I've seen in fifty-eight years. Uh, when they see it, I honestly believe, like for instance, if I did a seminar and ten dentists said, "Call me, I'm interested in your consulting." No matter how good I was on the phone, maybe five would invest in our in-office services. And it's sometimes fear of change. It's sometimes I don't know if I align with your philosophy. I think I do. And most of the time it was the fee involved. Yeah. And so this program absolutely allows every dentist, every age dentist to uh, have it at their fingertips and the other thing that's so exciting about it, as you said, it's customizable. So right. but when they see that chart of account, they're going to see exactly what all is involved in practice and team uh, development. And I think it will be an enhancement to every independent consultant out there 
and every larger consulting firm, once they see it, they're going to set up those quarterly workshops that you and I are working on right. that they are going to need help with implementation. So Absolutely. if their their coach will need to come back and spend a full day and do 25% of the implementation with them and keep them on track so that it is finished in a year. And, and furthermore, when a consultant, when a dentist declines your services, you may follow up. However, isn't it wonderful to offer some alternative? And it's an say, alternative. Oh, for sure. okay, work with this. I know you can afford this. Work with this. And when you need me, I'll be there for you. Mm -hmm. now, that nice because you keep the bond of the relationship you, going. Now you'll, you can be in touch with that dentistry. How is that going? And you have another option instead of perhaps those other five, you lost the relationship with completely. So I, I think that there's so many options here. Uh, we haven't rolled it out yet. It's January 1st. I wanted to do a soft, soft rollout for the yeah. last six months. And then, Nancy, you need to tell them the fee because some of the people on here I, I, when I first reviewed it, which was a year and a half ago, I said, Nancy, this is worth $30,000. And uh, anyway, she <laughs> laughed, but tell them exactly what the fee is, which is um, I've absolutely had astounding. Because I, I, the idea is to make this available to anyone who wants to improve. So the 70%, the 75% of dentists who are never going to use a consultant or they're not using one now, they have an opportunity. It's 1995. And when we work with consultants, there's, we have something special going for our peers and uh, our friends, our consultants. Mm -hmm. so that's, that's what it is. And uh, we're, we're so proud of this. Uh, I think with the way the world is changing and how fast the face the fast pace, the amount of information that we gather. I think the world is moving so fast. This is one way to revolutionize how people can improve. Um, it's another alternative for the consultant. I mean, I just read two things this week, and I don't know if anybody else knows it, but Walmart now has Walmart Healthcare. Yes. And in mm -hmm. South Carolina, Georgia, yes. Texas, they have dentistry. $25 for a cleaning, $25. I and mean, you've got to move. Things are, and then I don't know if you've heard about mobile endodontists. You heard about them? I mean, this oh, is that's been going on for years where they work one day in five offices. Well, this is pretty amazing. Well, there's this group and they've done 40,000 root canals. There's I don't know how many dentists and they're a mobile unit. It's oh. this world's moving fast. It's and changing we, rapidly. And um yes. I and know this is part of a fast moving right now. This is something new that we're offering and there'll be tons more new stuff that is going to come into our ever evolving dental world. Yeah. But you know, the, the, I, again, I grew up in that moving world, right? Where by the time we are done with this conversation, I'm sure how this program function is going to change. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm like, like I mentioned, like today, I'm like, I never even thought about telling people to make sure that, you know, make sure your volume's up or a couple of things. Cause to me, it's like, that's the norm to me, right? But here's the thing, here's the thing. The faster we move or the faster we keep going, the more we need a foundation mm -hmm. because without the foundation, you are just moving, you are not growing. If you want to grow and not just move, if you don't just want action, but you want results, you need to have a very strong foundation. Mm -hmm. Because without that foundation, you are just action, action, action without any growth. Exactly. And having systems or having something like this where you could go and you could create that strong foundation, it allows you to remove the stress. Yes. You know, remove this, oh my God, what should I do here? Or how do I train my team here? Or how do I do a be, you know, good leader or my hygienist? Or how do I do a treatment? Like those, everything that doesn't help you, you know, everything that you go home at night and you're like, oh my God, my brain can't stop right now because it's going and going and going. It's all taken care of. Yes. And you can right. think about how can I buy another location? How can I hire somebody internally to help me with this? How can I, do I now have enough money to bring in a consultant? those bigger goals are achievable because the little stuff is taken care of. I agree. Absolutely. I think there's a Will Rogers quote 
and I was looking for it as we were chatting. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's like um, even if you're on, even if you're on the train, even if you're on the train track, like even if you're in the right place, if you just stand there, you're gonna get run over. That's what <laughs> it's true. And it's yeah. also, um, Manal, sort of like building a beautiful castle on sandy foundation. Yeah. Right. The first wave that comes along is going to knock it over. And that's what a practice is like until they get the solid foundation of marketing and management. And I love the way you market. Uh, when we first met, Manal was explaining to me, and she so agrees that look at the money business people in general throw out and yeah. throw away and flush down the toilet because they're marketing and they're not solid foundation to even handle the influx. Well, I had, I had a client seriously when I, cause I do, I do discovery calls and in my discovery call, when I started probing for some of these questions and this happens regularly and I'll tell them, okay, well, if you're seeing X amount of patients, in your one location, you are above the average. So let's talk about this. And before you know, I ended my call, she's like, you're the first one who has ever told me you don't need my services right now. That mm -hmm. you actually walked away from a sale. But to me, that's value to me because guess what? Now when the, she is ready after what everything that I've told her and she's hired the right person to fix it, who's she going to call? She's going to call Manal. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. It's a relationship business. And I get no gain in trying to get your money and giving you an influx when the influx is not going to be converted. That's right. Because at the end of the year, you're going to run your numbers and be like, oh, that Manal didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> sort of like the lab gets blamed if the case isn't back on time, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, well, we have a couple of questions coming in. The first question we got was, who who spends the most time with the patient? Well, it's well it depends. Yeah. If it's a long procedure, the dentist and assistant would. But uh, overall, in the eight phases of patient visit, the dentist is with them during phase number five, which is treatment time. But the team members take care of all the other eight, seven phases. So... I think the team is spending more time as a group than the dentist in most cases. Do you agree, Nancy? I do agree. And then I I just jumped to this thought that if there's a large treatment plan, you may spend a lot of time with the financial coordinator, like it or not, but because right. you got to figure creative ways to help this person Pay for the treatment and together you'll do that and that can take a lot of time and you spend the time you need with the patient so yeah. you know that may not be i don't letting know. them know that um, we have financial options yeah. that make this treatment affordable to yeah. everyone in our community and i think they love to know that other people often are surprised by the fee and um yeah well Industry. you know what i um i think that our team is the face of our, our brand, for of our company. And no matter what it is, even if you are a dentist, even if you are a business owner, at the end of the day, if my team went, when they, when, when my team member, you know, was interacting with you via email to set this up and they did something or didn't go right, they are the, they are in relation to me. Mm -hmm. They are a reflection of who I am. Mm -hmm. And my, I am as strong as my weakest team member. Absolutely. And they are also just as strong as me. So I had, a, I had a dentist, and I'll talk about this. I had a dentist client that I was working with. And a couple of months in, I realized that things were not going as I had hoped. So I was talking to the office manager, and I'm like, why is this, this, and this happening? What is going on? And she told me, well, he doesn't even show up till 8.10, and oh. the patients start at 8 a.m. But then he would call me and be like, my team members and they're taking long lunch breaks. So I have to be that person and be like, well, you're showing up 10 minutes late to work. Why would they show up early? <laughs> what is, I what used is, to tell my audience that the dentist should be there a half an hour before any team member. And they should have the coffee perking and ready, the Keurig ready in today's world. And they need to uh, have chilled orange juice to pass out at the team huddle. 
uh, and, and how that happened? Linda? And I, I think I lost a few dentists over the years. <laughs> but anyway, John Stamper has a question. I thought Linda Miles was retired. John, uh, I have retired six or seven times, but I love working on special projects that I believe in. And that's why I'm on this um, webinar, <laughs> this interview tonight with Manal and Nancy. And um, our friend Candace was supposed to be on. I couldn't get on at first, and they helped me get on. Right. And then we lost poor Candace. She's the most techie of, of the three of uh, Nancy and I. Manal's very techy, but oh, anyway, yes, I have retired, but I am um, I am only working maybe three or four hours a week, and that's a big change, and that's all done at home. I just I don't, think that your idea of I don't travel to a little work. different than other people's, Linda. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's not well. She's retired, but she has a passion for some of this work. Yes. So it's not as if she is, you know, working towards it or anything like that. It's just that she enjoys it so much. That's and right. she is so willing to give. I mean, she's she is seriously the kindest person I know in our industry, hands oh, down. She yeah. no, you really are, Linda. And you know, I think that you have raised yes. the bar um, for all of us, and because you have done it so ethically and on your own, that it is it is almost as if you know we just we even if we were in your shadow, we will be like, okay, you know, well, we are doing no, something I, right. But I think you probably probably heard me say at the Speaking Consulting Network that I didn't have any mentors. I didn't have anybody to ask questions, made a lot of mistakes, but a lot of the, I probably seven out of 10 big ideas that I had over those 36 years in business probably weren't good ideas or I had to adjust them. But the 30% that worked, worked phenomenally a hundred thousand times better than I thought. They were all big home runs like the Speaking Consulting Network. But I told the newer consultants, I have dug the garden, the practice management training. I've dug that garden with a dinner fork and I'm handing you a John Deere tractor key. All you have to do is get on and ride it because for 30 years, we've all been teaching basically the same Yes. ideas the same marketing and management uh nothing's really different That's it just true. changes with technology really and good. it changes the more we learn the more we realize we need to learn so true it, it is true i was just going through a message because somebody earlier today uh, messaged me when they saw that uh you're going to be on linda and uh he's a dentist in chicago and mm -hmm. he actually, he messaged me, Facebook messaged me, and I'm just looking at his uh, message right now. And he seriously told me that, you know, that Linda Miles was the consultant. And the was only that consultant. Robert Pick? Was it that was Dr. Robert Pick. It was, it was Dr. Yes. Pick. He hired me to come when uh, I was a baby speaker and spoke when he, for his perio referring dentist. And I think he probably started the study club movement. I'm not sure of other specialists hiring us to come and speak for their referring dentist and mm. their referring team. So I just thank Bob Hick for being on. And uh, he's really one of the most motivating dentists <laughs> that I know. And he's a great example of happy dentist. Yes, absolutely. And then we have Kathy's asking, how do we get to, uh, a look at the do-it-yourself consulting program? How do uh, we get them So visit the website, www.diydentalconsulting.com. And so you, there's a lot of information on that website. There's Q&As, there's tons of information, and there's a way to get in touch with me too, Kathy. I don't yeah. know each other, but I'd uh, love to get to know you. Kathy Nicholas is Annie Knauss's daughter and oh, dear friends of mine who live in this area. Right. And we have so much fun on the weekends doing fun things together. Annie oh. was my consultant for a lot of years and was phenomenal. And uh, she's also an oral cancer survivor. So uh, she's wow. been very, very instrumental in being a real champion and we're just getting started on what all Annie and I were, and Kathy are getting into with uh, oral cancer cause. And so um, 
Kathy Nicholas is her daughter and just a phenomenal practice administrator. Well, I hope to get to meet you maybe when I'm in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I already told Annie you're coming. Oh, that, Three gals are going to have. Can I come? Can I just Manal, come hang out? <laughs> you can come hang out. I'll with bring us. the cruise and rum. You can oh, come and hang well. out with us if you'll be the bartender and make your rum punch. <laughs> and also, uh, if you bring us all back to your wonderful oh, homeland man. of St. Thomas, oh. where we met your father and your brother. And your sister-in-law and your um, family. Yeah. They are they are actually on tonight. They're are watching they us. On? Yes, I'm they so are. They are on, on tonight. They are so they were so excited to see you both. So oh, I told them you're gonna you. be on the show today. So they've just been quiet because they don't wanna <laughs> they don't they don't know the dental talk, so they've just been <laughs> secretly watching, but I got a I'm glad they're on I mean, we, we have, have, we have a no, this off we talk, have a few can ghosts. Can I find out the name? Can I find out the name of that drink that your father got for us? Oh, oh it's called pain a painkiller. Pain oh, oh, yes. Don't you remember, Nancy? Oh, yes. <laughs> you and Stacy and I all had the a pain. blast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have and there the was recipe, this... by the way, but I haven't made it yet. Oh, well, maybe well, when I'm there, we'll we'll try that recipe out because it's a Sounds good drink. Good. It's a good drink. But you know, similar to that, and I, this will be the last thing we talk, guys, because I know it's getting late. But you know, the one thing that I think that uh, with my parents, also with my family, is that they always gave more importance to the relationship than the sales. You mm -hmm. know, and what Absolutely. is important in the yes. relationship and this is why they are still in business and they are in an area where every single business on that street is a jewelry store oh it's so, unbelievable so if but you're a dentist jewelry, their jewelry store is special yeah. <laughs> they even sent us to lunch no, in the special. alley yeah yeah, yeah but see but that's what you remember you remember yeah. that they sent you to lunch in the alley or they right. dropped you after the hotel yeah. or you know they had you uh, they got drinks whatever it is but yeah. do you see that hardly anybody actually mentions the jewelry part that's right <laughs> It's always the customer service and the relationship. Yeah, it was the rum part. punch. And so <laughs> the, the rum punch and the painkillers because it's true. And if you were to think about this in a dental point of view, imagine as a dental practice and every single person, every single business on that street is a dentist. Wow. How are you I'm going to set yourself you. apart? Right now, mm -hmm. we are already complaining because we have a dentist five miles out of from us. And we are like, oh, we have too much competition. Imagine one street. Uh, one street one has street. how many how how many jewelry there stores are about are there are about 160 jewelry stores in St. Thomas uh, in St. Thomas and wow. on that main street alone I mean there are I believe there are like 90 stores and they're all jewelry stores uh, and we have my parents in that environment and they have to survive and you know without if they did not have the systems and if they did not have that leadership quality they will not survive and the relationships yeah. and it comes yeah. down to the relationship part of it mm -hmm. and that's the most important part so uh, everybody's telling me to bring that rum yes <laughs> <laughs> even though my show is called marketing and mocktails but yes and i'm having peppermint tea i do declare it's not wine in this cup yes. i'm having coconut water <laughs> see this is what we're doing tonight but lemon <laughs> water with lemon no. any last words before we end our talk show tonight ladies uh, you were talking earlier about um, the millennial dentist, you know, the younger ones and how effective and beautiful this would be for them. And I'm, since I'm in my golden age of my career, I'm also going to suggest that every dentist past the age of 60 will please invest in the DIY because Nancy Manal and Candace and I want your last five to be your best five and we have had dentists who have invested in consulting uh, in our consulting services in the in that age group and honest to goodness because of better efficiency better communication happier team better leader yeah. all of the things that's in this DIY and everything consultants leave with their clients yeah. I can honestly tell you that that practice ends up selling for about a quarter of a million dollars more than it would have had they not invested in this late in life. They and uh, that's a solo practice. Yeah, they need to think about their legacy. 
Yeah. They need to think about yeah. their retirement. And this is a great way to give it a great big booster shot. Yes. yes. Well, not even that, right? You have to think of it from, a, like I always said, know your audience. Your audience who's going to be buying that practice from you are the younger generation, are the younger dentists who do not have the systems, who do not have the knowledge. And imagine how much more value you bring to them saying right. that we have systems in place. We, in fact, have all this all this ready for you. So all you have to do is just come in and learn it and take over. You don't have to worry about creating this and you don't have to worry about building this. We have done it for you. That's exactly. what an that's investment. Value. Yes, it is. That's you know, especially in the especially in the world where there is so much competition. Right. Yes. Kathy wrote that DSOs need this program big time. Uh, it's an already made. I mean, this is why I believe it's worth 30000 per practice. Uh, and the good news is it's less than $2,000. Uh, it's unheard of. Uh, the amount of knowledge that Nancy has spent years of. Uh, when I first saw it, I was blown away. And Nancy's one of these uh, high tech people that research people mm -hmm. that if she gets yeah. a new idea today, it's already in there. It's already, it was in there before the show started. Finally, finally, Linda said, you have to stop updating this. I Nancy. said, Nancy, have <laughs> I have to tell the audience. I said, Nancy, you remind me of why Smokey Bear's wife never had any babies. Every time she got hot, he poured cold water on her. I was ready to start the sales, you know, six months ago. And Nancy says, Linda, divine intervention will help us. And I know right now that Nancy was 100% right because we have a couple companies that are very interested in this with ready-made reps. And we also have plan B that we're going to have regional consultants right. be our reps if we don't sell it outright and white label it for them. So we're excited because whoever and however we get it to market, it's going to hit January 1st. And well, we I, you know, I, you know. Go ahead, Nancy. Go ahead, Nancy. No, this was, you know, I have amazing because I just wanted to, to mention that we have had quite a few. We had over 60 comments already. Oh. And uh, this was a late show and we had a 60 comments already. And we wow. still have people joining us. We actually just have uh, Dr. Doan from Florida join us as well. And he's he's commenting. And I have Dorothy Ferreira. She's a hygienist in New Jersey. Oh. And uh, she's saying, my boss is getting towards retirement. And instead of investing, he's letting things That's drop. Do. Oh. oh, that happens a lot after the age 55, actually. Now, well, Dorothy, you know what you need to do? I know you keep saying to him he needs to make that investment. You need to tell him to just go to this website yeah, and uh, take talk to him and be like, this is not the huge consultant investment. This is getting so much of that information. And Nancy, Nancy you never told us the price online. I know we talked about how much it's worth, but you well, never said no, how much it actually said is. How, and I think the website is DIYDentalConsulting.com. Right. Right. Ah, let's um, let's yeah. change this yeah. right now. DIY. Is that better? Dentalconsulting.com. That's it. Perfect. So mm -hmm. I definitely think that Dorothy said she'll be doing that. So Dorothy, it's less than two thousand dollars. And make sure you know because you had us on your program. This <laughs> drop down Manal, and anybody who's looking to buy it, there's a drop down. And you'll have a list of people uh, uh, who heard of it. But in this, you heard of this about from Manal because she's you heard it from Manal. <laughs> oh, and we already have people who want to be consultants. I, Lenny says, I would love to be a regional consultant for you. Oh, wow. we want we and want 200. So, uh, yeah, Lenny, you're you, yeah. you we're gonna have a sign up list of starting probably December 1. So uh, Nancy will get that, that out. If that's, so we have a plan A, which is sell it outright and white label it, yes. where it'll still be very readily available to consultants because they're going to need reps yep. besides their territory reps. Yes. And then if that uh, plan, if we don't sell it outright because we're really anxious to get it rolled out, then we're going to go plan B, and that would include all the consultants who wish to promote it. And there is a very comfortable passive income center for whoever yeah, sells. Very it. nice. We're going to get that out there. Also, Manal, it's Nancy at DIYDentalConsulting.com. So anybody can email me. 
let's put that on here as well. So we are going That's to the website this. you have up, but if you want to email me, it's Nancy at DIY Dental Consulting.com. And when you get to the site, there's a phone number too. So there's tons of ways. But while you're doing that, I don't know Dr. Doan, but I, I believe that Dr. Doan introduced you at a meeting, Linda. As he, he's past president of the Florida Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry and was so generous. We, uh, Oral Cancer Cause, was his nonprofit of the year. Oh, nice. And they raised a lot of money. He did a phenomenal, phenomenal meeting. Had Ferraris parked in the exhibit hall. I'm still trying to figure out how they got him in there. But um, <laughs> anyway, everybody was enthralled with his powerful meeting and he had the greatest speakers and I just was real sorry I couldn't sit in on every minute of every one of them but and I'm not even a clinical clinician but uh, I was fascinated with the the speakers I watched and their results and so forth so it was a great meeting that's well, how you know that well, name. no what I wanted to say to him if he's still on with us is he is. is. He's still. He's still yeah. commenting. Okay. So there what, he is. He's what, crying. Oh, he's <laughs> laughing. <laughs> what I wanted to say was that um, I had, I had tuned in on Facebook just for a few minutes, and he was introducing Linda to the group, and he said that she is the fairy godmother of dental consultants. <laughs> and touched my heart. That was such a beautiful way to introduce oh. her. She really is that. That is what she is. The fairy really godmother. Thank you wow. for that about her. <laughs> oh, wow. yes. It was absolutely incredible. And to everybody who is watching, this is going to stay here on the wall. Feel free to share it as much as you want. This is going to be turned into podcast. So I think we probably had over two, 300 views by now because we already had 70 comments. So we have had quite a few many views. This is going to be turned into a podcast, into a YouTube channel, into Instagram TV. And it'll go out to my email list of, I don't know, 10,000 plus, uh, plus dental professionals. So, wow. Okay. Here is my uh, here is my ending thoughts for everybody who's watching tonight. First of all, thank you for being patient with us. Yes, thank you. Thank you. We, uh, you know, sometimes when we have, uh, we are super excited to do something. Uh, you know, they always say that you plan and God laughs. That was kind yeah. of the <laughs> that was kind of the situation <laughs> happening here. But we got on. So thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us live late at night. And uh, as I mentioned, we had an inc incredible show. And, you know, we have Miss Linda Miles and Miss Nancy Crossing with us who have, I don't even know, combined what? Uh, a century 90 years, of, a century I would say. of experience? 50, 58 over and 30. 90, uh, 98, 90 That's what I said, over a century, yes, over a century, a of, century experience. of experience. You know, when, when people like me who have been doing this for a decade are like, we have over a decade of experience. <laughs> Here's Linda Miles and Nancy Crofton. Well, we have a combined experience of over a century. <laughs> and uh, and we got this. So if you want credible information, if you want information that's not just opinions and you want to have a team that has a good foundation, if you want to have systems. And at the end of the day, as a business owner, as a dental professional, you want to be the leader of oh. your business, which translates into your life. My question to you is, what are you waiting for? So if you want to be a leader, Manal, here you go. <laughs> 36 everything you need to know about how to treat people my whole team needs to read it seven habits of highly effective people dr covey i love it well guys thank you so much for joining us tonight and yes <laughs> i like how nancy's ending with putting the books up all right yeah, guys you. thank you so much thank you for watching us live thank have a good night bye bye everybody bye, -bye.